All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this test video kind of thing. I don't know what to call this, but um, yeah, I'm just doing this kind of test where I uh, try out like how I would vlog whilst uh, driving and whether that will affect my driving ability or whatever the heck. And you know, this camera angle whole thing going on, wide angle, linear angle, I don't know. So um, yeah, this is just a test video. I want to get like some opinions of you guys, like how this video turned out. Not that a lot of people are going to watch this video anyway, because it's going to be uploaded on my third channel, which I didn't even want to make public to everyone. So yeah. Uh, so um, I'm at Coffs Harbour right now. Uh, I'm on the Pacific Highway and um, I am driving at 70 kilometers an hour, even though I can do 80 and not 110 apparently because this section of uh, the Pacific Highway still has not been bypassed. It's 2023, still like, well, I mean, I guess like the traffic isn't that bad here, so there's not really any need. So, but like, you know, sooner it gets bypassed, the better, I guess. Uh, not that. Uh, well, okay, I know the implications of a bypass, or I know like what will happen to the residents of the area, to the small businesses that will lose all their business if, if a town does get bypassed, but like for the people who don't live in the town or don't run a business in the town, like it's you're better off and it's safer, you know what I mean? Uh, but like, you know, obviously this whole project, I don't know how this project is going. I think it's like some budgeting issue that we have. Our country like don't have enough money to bypass this town or whatever the heck. Like I I'm not complete, I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but uh, the Pacific Highway uh, like just got completely duplicated all the way like to dual carriageway standards. So I, I, I know why they would not want to like bypass this so, so quickly, but anyway, yeah, enough about Coffs Harbour now. Uh, actually, I'm about to come up to, I'm about to come up to the uh, big banana, right? Oh, there it is, the big banana. This uh, this place that I've been to last year, uh, at like twice actually, uh, three times actually. Uh, I drove past it like twice as well. But here's the big banana. People are taking pictures outside of it. That's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see much on the dash, either on the dash cam or the GoPro there. Like, okay, you just saw on the dash cam, right? But now that it's behind me, can you see on the dash, like on the GoPro? I don't know, but like, that's what that's what that's why I'm doing this test video to see like what you can see, what you can't see. Okay, so yeah, just came back from Brisbane. Uh, well, I didn't even just come back. I'm still on the way back to Sydney because you know I'm, I'm, I'm driving across Coffs Harbour right now, so. Yeah, how do I say this? This trip, but like I've done many like trips, like well, okay, that I organized. All right, I've done many trips that I organized for like mainly for competitions and for like you know hang out with friends and all that kind of stuff. This trip was by far the worst one out of all of them, right? Uh, the T Tasmania trip that I did in 2000, early 2000, well, no, 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 late 2020, like really late, like December 2020. That one was the, uh, that one was the best one and the first one that I organized. Well, actually, I kind of organized the Gold Coast one as well. No, not really. Not really. Uh, but, yeah, this trip to, um, to Brisbane, Morayfield, Brisbane, summer 2023 was the worst trip that I've done and the only one actually that uh that was just not worth it it was not worth the four hundred dollars that I spent and if I had the if I known what's gonna happen I would have asked for a refund like I, I would not have paid for it I would not have done anything about it because how, how much did it cost like okay Airbnb I think cost around two hundred dollars because it was like 157 for first night and the second night, uh, the first place, which is four nights, uh, the second place was only one night, which is like $50, I think. 
let's just say 200 uh the petrol for like i think i, I think i would use three full tanks right because i use two already and i still have to go back to sydney which is another full tank so that's three full tanks which is like 180 liters oh my gosh okay probably not that much because like i didn't top up to full first summer so maybe 170 liters which is around times that by 1.7 right because that's a full bar. okay 1.6 okay what's 17 times 16 273 no 272 yeah, 270. Oh my gosh, I'm doing math, vlogging, and driving at the same time. This is dangerous. But anyway, uh, okay, let me just. Okay, let's see, why is this lane so congested? Okay, so $272 for petrol, right? Add that to $200, so $472 so far. Food is probably another $50 because, uh. I mean, like, I probably ate more than $50 to work with food, but, like, if you're home, you have to spend on food anyway, but, like, you just have to spend, spend more. So probably another fifty dollars in food. So this is around five. Let's just say five hundred, right? Round it down. Okay, we probably cannot run it down. Let's run it up. Five hundred fifty dollars for this trip because there's probably some other expenses that I don't, don't know about that I have to pay for. Oh yeah, maintenance for the car. That is probably another fifty dollars because like ten thousand kilometers is like five hundred dollars for this. So probably yeah, that as well six hundred dollars. So this whole trip took six hundred dollars. Mm. Oh yeah, and depreciation as well, okay? So, after all that said and done, $600 spent on this whole trip. And, um, I got like pretty much nothing out of it, right? Because this, because the whole reason I did this trip, right, was one, for the competition, that I really had no chance of, um, podium. Okay, well, I did have a chance until something happened. In fact, I actually... After that thing happened, I still kind of still had a chance. But what happened was, uh, okay, I'll, I'll tell you my other reason that I came to this, uh, I came to Brisbane was that my computer isn't doing well. All right, it's getting blue screens left, right, and center. I don't know what's the issue. Maybe if you're watching this video, uh. IRQL less or not equal system mouth I, mean, I don't remember like that's the only error code I remember okay what is it DPC watchdog violation uh I don't remember the error codes on the top of my head but like I'll put them on the screen right now uh critical process died is not one because that's software apparently I got all the hardware uh blue screen of deaths like I can't remember on the top of my head but all of the hardware ones, so I wanted to come to Brisbane, right, to meet with a friend to get it fixed. But that friend didn't have time. The only thing he did not have time, he lied about, okay, okay. I don't want to say he lied, alright, because I have no hard, solid evidence that he did in fact lie. But like, he misled me. It's pretty much like, borderline scam. That, okay, just come over, I'll get it fixed for you, you know, do this, do that, or that, or this, and whatever, but like... Just... Yeah, I would say it's a borderline scam, what, what he did. And... Okay, well, I maybe I should be thankful, right? Because he's, at the end of the day, he's still providing me a service, but like, I don't know. He's just... I don't know, okay, and he, I know he's probably watching this video, alright? And I know he's probably gonna like, okay, why did you say that for? I'm your best friend. Okay, he's, he's not my best friend. But like, why did you say that for? Dude, come on. You know you messed up, right? You know you messed up. Think about it for a second. Just, I don't need to tell you. But, but, but anyway, that, that's not, okay, let's not focus like, uh, Blaming this one person too bad, right? We, we want positivity around here. We don't want to, like, cause harm to other people. I'm like, another story that I'll get into in a second. But, like, not only that, the competition that I went to was an absolute... Okay, it wasn't an absolute disaster, right? I got some PRs, right? Personal records. Uh, I beat it for 6x6, six six, which is, like, five minutes and a half. Like, uh, it's still pretty bad, like... I'm pretty sure I've gone like four minute souls before, but like, 
I just couldn't do them in competition, I guess. The environment's not there for me, but like, not only that, uh, Scoob. Alright. Five point two zero average, which is actually okay, decent. Yeah. But it could have been so much less. I think if that DNF at the end didn't happen, it would have been a four point eight nine, or maybe even higher because, like, I don't know. Okay, well, I got three point nine nine for that last solve, right? But uh, it didn't. Like I, I predicted, right? I predicted that it's gonna be a last layer skip, but it wasn't. Not really last layer. Skip. Okay, PL, PL. Okay, no, the Orient's OC skip. Oh, whatever. Oh my gosh, I'm that good at skip, but I don't even know the terms. But like, I predicted that we're gonna skip on the last step, right? Because I practice skip is like my main event for skipping now. Oh my gosh, I'm going over the limit. Okay. Uh, Scuba is like the main event. Uh, I, I practiced, but I just... I messed it up. Right? Okay. Even if I didn't mess up, okay? That, that last solver side, the average was still 5.20. Which is very good. Well, not very good, but like, how I would normally do. Okay? Like, it's decent. Right, and on any normal day, right, that would have given me third place, or podium, or even first place in some competitions. But, the problem is, it didn't, I got fourth. I got fourth for that competition, for Scoob. And getting fourth is like, pretty much the worst possible thing that could happen to you, like, you can miss out on finals, right? That's completely fine, you just get light, l less five solves. But if you miss out on fourth, like, you miss out on the podium. You miss out on an award that you get to bring home. You miss out on like, the people calling your name. You miss out on like, people clapping for you and all that. Not that, <laughs> not that that's like, a really, a thing that people should look forward to anyway, but because like, but like, you get a lot of attention become fourth, which is something I like, like oh no, you just come third instead of fourth, and uh, yeah, I just, because of that last soul, I came fourth, and not only because of that, but like, one person that came second for Scoop, right, that beat me, wasn't even supposed to come, he, in fact, he promised that he, okay, well, he didn't, promise but like he said he wasn't gonna come and then he registered last second and then he took away my uh third place spot and it's just painful because the gap between third and fourth place for Scoob is so immense the gap for first and second right it's not even there right you would think that's the biggest gap because it's either you won or you know, you didn't win. Boo hoo, go home. For most uh, sports, the difference between first and second is a uh, bigger it's because you, if you come first, you actually get to take take up a cup as well. You know what I mean? But the distance, difference for third and fourth, maybe except for the Olympics, it's so big. It's just so big for cubing. It's it's unbelievable and. It's my third competition where I walked away with a fourth place as my highest finish. Uh, in Townsville, I also walked away with fourth place on my one-handed, but like that's okay because I won. I won Scube and came second place for uh, Square One, so that's completely fine. I don't, I don't mind Townsville. Townsville was the best comp I've ever been to. So good, all that. So that being said, it was the worst. Ever competition I've ever been to. okay well well should I say that because okay well there are a few competitions where I just didn't really do much those are good I, I those are like pretty bad I guess but like in terms of like I didn't even get to uh 
I didn't even get to meet a lot of people either because like I was I don't know I didn't talk much right no one really talked to me either I didn't really do much on that competition either so overall that competition was just something to forget about you know what I mean something for me to forget about but anyway I'm back on the highway now do I have uh, anything else to s- I have to say? I, I said that was a story for another time, right? I don't know what I had to say, but um... Yeah! Hope you guys... I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but um, I'll watch back in the recording afterwards. Probably horrible, now that I think about it. But like, uh... Nevertheless... Hopefully this turned out well, and um, yeah. If this turns out well, I might actually start um, adding webcams to my future vlogs, like future driving vlogs, because this actually gives me a benefit that I know, like, because normally when I look for the record, like look for when did I talk, right? When did I talk in this specific video? I have to look for like quite a long time, so uh, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Let me know like how this format goes, all right? And whether this format is good or bad. Anyway, bye.